Welcome to Tokon. Tokon is a revolutionary new slave control system from Excite that uses intuitive HUD-based controls to make controlling a slave easy and fun. This video tutorial focuses on the abilities built into the Tokon system that can restrain a slave. Restraining a slave is one of the most common things people wish to do. Restraint can mean a lot of things, but in the context we're talking about, it means to restrict the slave's movement in some way. Let's get right into it. This is the professional owner's HUD, and the woman we're seeing is the slave. As we can see, she's already targeted because her name is at the top of our HUD. Leashing is the simplest and perhaps most popular form of restraint. It's available in the generic actions page, but I've also got it on a hot button here. To leash my slave, I just press the button. If I'm wearing the Tokon leash handle, the chains drop properly to my hand. Pressing the button again releases the leash. Most of the specialized forms of restraint can be found in the page that appears when I click this button, Restraint. The items on this page use the Chain Anywhere system, invented by Excite, to chain the slave to whatever we want. But before we get to chaining, let's talk about the two buttons that don't involve chains. The Freeze button is about as simple as it gets. I'll hit the button and now the slave is frozen in place. The little red stop button in the indicator bar up here tells me she's unable to move. Hitting the same button or hitting the stop button releases her. The cage button down here is another option. Hitting cage wraps the slave in a rather large cage. Now this will only work on land where build is enabled of course. And there are always ways out of any cage such as teleporting. But for the sake of role play, caging can be a lot of fun. Hitting the button again removes the cage. Okay, let's talk about chaining. As a simple example, let's examine the hitch post button. Pressing this button does two things. It creates a post near the slave, and it attaches a chain to it from her collar. The chain is built of particles, and the slave will be forced to stay close to the post. How close? Well, let's take a look at the adjust chain screen. There's quite a few options here, including the ability to choose whether I want to use rope or chains, change the color, etc. But this second option, length, determines how far she can stray from the post. Moving back to the restraint page, we'll free her from the post by clicking the stop button and then click the chains button. This is the general purpose chains screen. Using leashes and hitching posts are easy, but if I want more control over what body part I'm chaining to wear, I'll want to use this screen. To chain up a body part, I just click on it, and then I click on the item in the world where I want the other end of the chain to attach to. I have a few options here. First, I can chain it to any object sitting in the world that has the target script in it. The target script is free and comes with every Tokon system. Let's make a sphere near our slave here. And now I'll place the target script that came with my Tokon system inside of it. That's it, I can now chain the slave to this sphere. I'll click her left wrist and then I'll click the new sphere. She's now chained and can't move away from it. You can also chain a slave to moving objects or even avatars. Let's remove that chain by hitting the stop button. Now I'll pick up that sphere, and I'm going to wear it on my hand. Following the same steps, I'll select the body part on the screen, and then left click on the sphere that's in my hand now. Now the slave is chained to the item in my hand, and it will act as a leash so I can drag them around. Okay, let's try something new. Once again, I'll select a body part, the right hand in this case. Now, instead of leashing them to something or someone else, I'm going to select the D-ring on their right ankle cuff. Chains that are linked to other items being worn by the same slave are purely decorative, but when combined with positions can lead to some really fun effects. Let's talk about suspension. Suspension is another technology first invented by Excite that was a popular addition to our line of standalone cuffs, but it's now available as part of Tokon. You do need the professional owner HUD to use suspension. It's not part of the freeware HUD. Clicking the suspend button takes me to the suspension screen, and I can see a list of suspension positions on the right here. Before I try to suspend my slave though, I need something to suspend them from. Again, any chain anywhere enabled item will do, 
So let me drop that same sphere back into the world here, but this time I'm going to raise it up high. Now I'm ready to suspend her. I'll select the position I want on the right, and then hit the play button on the left. Then I'll left click the sphere to indicate that's where I want to suspend her from. She's immediately dragged over under the sphere and adopts a resting position for the suspension, and chains are now being drawn up to the sphere. The arrow buttons in the HUD here are used to hoist and lower the slave. Pressing the one with two up arrows hoists her into the air. I have pretty good control over how high she is with these arrows, and she'll remain there suspended until I let her down. I can also switch positions on the fly. Just select a new position from the list and she instantly changes to that position. Pressing stop releases her and drops her back down to the ground. Chains and restraint in Tokon can be as easy as attaching a hitching post or enclosing a slave in a cage. Or it can be as flexible and creative as you like, with the finer level of control offered to you by the chain and suspension pages. Using the free target script, you can attach a chain to practically anything or anyone. There's a lot of really fun and interesting things you can do with the chaining technology in Tokon. Hook up a ball and chain and toss the ball all over the place and watch the slaves struggle to keep up. Chain two slaves to each other and watch as they are forced to stay close. The only real restraint is your own imagination. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the other tutorial videos to learn more about the Tokon system.